while we're on executive shit, this just in. Uh, and I'm getting this from Variety. Shout out to the good people up there. Drake strikes massive multifaceted deal with Universal Music Group. Go down so we can read more. Uh, you wouldn't know it from Sir Lucian Grange's tone in today's Universal Music Group one uh, Q1 earnings call. But the chairman of the world's biggest music company confirmed what had long been expected but never to be announced. That Drake has entered into an expansive multifaceted deal with the company that encompasses his recording, publishing, merchandise, and visual media projects. Such expanded portfolios, as Grange noted in the call, spanning multiple creative lanes and revenue streams, also include the recently announced extension and expansion of the weekend's deal with UMG, Mm. which aligns him, like Drake, with Republic Records. Drake's deal was completed in 2021. Of course, the nagging question is how big is Drake's bag? Not for me. (laughs) It's big. (laughs) They, they just made a round of uh, applause. Round of applause. As cute as they just made a 360 sound, that bad. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, <laughs> that was a big ass 360. That was a very, and let's be clear, that's a different 360 than a regular yeah. 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said they talking about the 400 million. It's a nice weekend. Can't be mad at that. No, or, no pun intended. <laughs> 400 mil? Listen, but but he's jumping in the mad other shit now, like the what's the name shit? He got something to do with. Y'all yeah, know me though, right? This guy's crazy. The top boy shit in London. Yeah, and Euphoria. Oh, Euphoria too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. What are you saying, guys? Four hundred mil. Yeah, ain't nothing to talk about. Give me the contract. You signing that? I'm signing. Oh yeah. I agree to the terms and conditions. <laughs> I ain't even nigga, I got, it, whatever the fuck. I don't nigga, even gotta read. Nigga, I know. agree to terms and conditions for an iPhone. What do you think I'm gonna sign for four hundred mil? I ain't, I, yo, you know what, uh, Lucian? I ain't even gotta send this one to my attorney. No, 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 That's no. We thing. get this right now. Yeah. You got, you want? Here's blue? my bank account number. My routing's right here. Hey, look, you want blue ink, right? <laughs> I got both pens. What yo, you want me yo. to do? This guy is crazy. Nah, yeah, it's but that's shout out to him. Getting to that level, they getting here. Yeah, they we getting there. That's 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 the Rolling Stones type money. Uh, all all them old OGs that they talk about. How old is Lucian and all them niggas? Sixties. Lucian's older. No, I'm saying like most of them label heads, right? Around Lucian sixty is, something. Lucian is older. Mm. The hope that this gives aspiring acts uh, for the next few generations is that Drake was able to accomplish this much faster than. We've seen before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, Hove is a billionaire, but boy, did he have to bust his ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Rihanna is a billionaire. That came that came fast. Kanye's a billionaire. You've seen what he had to do. Mm-hmm. Like, and Drake is not reported to be a billionaire. Mm-mm. But he's knocking on the door. He on the door. If he not, if he not there, if he's, he's not right there. there. And he will be there. He'll be there. God will. Yeah, and if you look at the, all the names that you just mentioned, comparing what he's done, which is, for the most part, he does a lot of shit, but for the most part, still... He drafts Mostly just music bars. Music yeah. based You know what I'm saying Like he don't No streaming company He don't mm-hmm. do shoes mm-hmm. As much Like that's a, That's very impressive nah, that's dope. Again yeah, Rihanna A lot of Rihanna like money Didn't come from music yeah. Right What you so say He's doing that We'll never music. know shit man at, at this level The job is to hide Or everything This guy's got his hands In so much shit yo. For sure For yeah. sure His hands are in everything And you could be a billionaire And just don't want to Yeah Oh yeah You know what I'm saying Like yeah, I, I think a lot of times knowing that Yeah or, that's, that's that's the, I don't even understand that part. I'm, again, I don't have that level of money, but telling how much I got, like, I think like even when Kanye, when he remember when the first number came out, he was like, "No, that's wrong. I'm actually worth this. Get it right." No, he made them go. Yeah. I know. Search it. That's ego driven, though. In my opinion, yo, when is it okay to have ego? You should have ego. I think it's it's levels to it mm-hmm. though. You know what I'm saying? Like some people's egos. Um, Cause when you really think you the shit, you don't gotta tell everybody. Right. Like you really sit in. What your, if you excited? So you say it. Some people ego be. What if you excited about, you about your ascension? You say it. You don't gotta keep reminding us every twenty minutes. I'm telling you, some people's ego be based in their insecurity. Yeah. No, it is a lot of niggas' ego is based in their insecurity. Because you have to feel the need to tell. You like, got, I think got. there's a ton of billionaires out here that just don't want my name in Forbes. Oh, facts. Give mm-hmm. a fuck about yeah. no Forbes. That's a fact. You people get what pay, I'm saying? People so, pay to get in the Forbes. Yes. List. There you go. And people pay to get out of it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, 
There you go. So don't put me in there. If you really stand firm in what you do, you don't got to tell nobody. It's not about the recognition yeah, at that point. Yeah. Fuck that. Congratulations to Drake, Lucian, the entire music business, actually, because I, I do believe that everybody in the recording music business benefits from Drake being in the recording For music sure. business. For sure. Yeah, and, that, I mean, that's it, how it, powerful his uh, halo effect it, is. It, it affects everybody. Not for nothing, too. We... we all of us here grew up in the era. I was just reminded of uh, the Napster era uh, on a Cypress Hill doc I just watched on Showtime. It was a good, good doc, by the way. But we were we all witnessed a point when music was not valuable. To see someone in this generation get that kind of money is pretty amazing. And like you said, predominantly music. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. In this genre. Right. That's important, too. Like there was a time because hip hop they... has been valuable, but it wasn't valuable to the hip hop artists. That too. There's billions of dollars in hip hop to them. True. So to see somebody who is a hip hop artist, well, he's a pop artist, but still, still in the hip hop yeah, realm, get to that level, that's amazing. It's amazing, and that's why I asked how old a lot of these people are, because mm. the age of the gatekeepers matter. Doug is 82, 80 something years old, it just said. 62. No, that was Lucian was uh, 60. You said Doug Moore. Doug was 80 something. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. So again, now here comes Kaiser. Here comes, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm. here comes those guys that are going to be there in those seats. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's, that's the way it I, changes. I think that's like, changed. Honest, honestly, not I mean, not to move the conversation, but I think the same thing applies to politics. I agree too. It does. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. It I does. agree too. Definitely. That like, to I, I was sitting there watching this. They talking about the Supreme Court. There's Reverse a draft. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, that's these old politicians up in there just trying to control this shit. Facts. Mm. With that particular situation? You disagree? Yeah. I'm listening. I, because I think that one of the things pushing this is some of the newer people. Like, if you want to start, if we want to go here, we could go. But I think that some of the newer people, because some of the newer appointees, are spearheading this as well. But the appointees don't get to that level without some some backing pushing. You don't you don't you don't you don't think- like the newer Supreme Court justices, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I think that some of the newer ones are you got to write the vote on this particular topic. I think that ne- like with the new music shit it's different because when you start talking about again Kaiser and those guys, they were brought up here. They understand the culture. They understand the people that the culture is surrounded around. So I think they would be more um, in tune and empathetic. When you take Doug, he's 80 years old, dog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He don't understand what little baby's going through. He don't understand the environment that little baby comes from. I'm, I'm talking about these politicians particularly. Uh-huh. To get to that court. I'm a related. I'm okay. a related. Okay. So when you bring in the new people into the court, you uh-huh. would think that they would be more... Relatable. You can understand why the old Supreme Court justices would not be relatable to today's American people. Maybe it's conspiracy theories to me or something. I don't think you make it to be a Supreme Court nominee without the right people okay with you becoming a would, Supreme Court nominee. But that right people is on two totally different sides of the spectrum, allegedly. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I get it. We I, just saw one get uh, appointed. And the quote unquote, some of those right people were against her appointment. And I think those, some of those people have an older ideology of where we should be. So when I relate it to music on the up and comers, like some of these new executives, the punches and all of these niggas and in 10, 20 years, they, they going to be the top of the brass. No, I agree with that. They are going to be more in tune. from QC. They're going to be more in tune than today's politicians. 100%. That's what I'm saying. But I just think all the way across the board. Do you understand my point or no? There just needs to be an overhaul. You get my point? I understand your point. I think I understand what both of y'all are saying. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you I'm back to the Supreme to the Supreme Court. I don't think you make it there with the right the right the right people uh the right people is going to always change circumstantially, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I walk away from from both of your points. You don't get there without the right people. Depending on where there is, the right people is going to change. But you need the right people to do it. That's what I take from what y'all say. No, Joe Biden. Uh, 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 uh,
たり。